Don't move a muscle. <laughs> My apologies, Your Majesty. I didn't realize it was you. Forgive me, but you were in my way, so be a good little queen and move out of my way. <sighs> Must you be so rude? I thought royalty meant to have some, I don't know, elegance and class. <sighs> yes, I guess you got me there. I am definitely not one of your servants. <laughs> That's right, I'm an assassin. Now, do I have to repeat myself or are you going to listen and move? <laughs> That's right, you don't have to worry. I'm not here for you, yet at least anyway. <laughs> I mean, I've already achieved my goal and all I need to do now is um, make a move as such. Oh, my objective was simple, really. Speaking of which, you might need to find yourself a new husband. At least one that isn't a tyrant. <laughs> isn't it obvious what I'm trying to tell you? No, I guess not. Basically, you uh, are a widower now. <laughs> anyway, I will make my uh, escape. Mm -hmm. You hired me. Now, now. A lady like yourself should already know this, but you should never ask an assassin who her employer is. Terribly rude of you. I mean, the king did have many enemies. Many that would love to see his head roll. But, for your sake, I didn't do that. Hmm. Well, it was actually quite an easy job, really. Climbed out the window, mostly. What about the guards? I'm actually offended you had to ask that. An assassin like myself has no need for that extreme combat. I am more of a sneakier individual than that. It would just waste time and patience, you know? And it had come to my attention that the king wasn't a very good man, even to you. You don't have to be embarrassed. Even with all that makeup, even with all those fancy oils, I can still see the black shadow around your eye. That's pretty fresh, too. <laughs> I guess you got a point there. It's none of my concern. But I will say this. The only reason I haven't killed you is because I can actually see you doing some real good around here around the kingdom, helping your people. <laughs> I guess my earlier comment about you marrying another man might be <laughs> old fashioned, I guess. What I mean is, I've seen you around town helping the local people, helping the poor. <laughs> and the needy, something I have never seen before. Most royalty wouldn't give two shits about the people and just fill in their own pockets with the taxes and all that. But I'm sure there's another reason for that as well, but I am not one for politics. All I am is a simple assassin that gets paid to eliminate tyrants, scumbags, and everything else in between, of course. I guess my other reason for not killing you is because I have a little bit of hope for you. I mean, it would be a nice change of pace to have a woman run a kingdom for once without having nosy old men sticking their nose in and trying to pass this whole 
old ways, malarkey, and everyone. I mean, times are changing. It would be nice to have more progressive mindsets. That's for certain. Hmm. Anyway, I should be off. But I want to make something perfectly clear, Your Majesty. With this new power that you wield around you, I hope you understand. Little by little, if you're not careful, you will be corrupted by it. And then with that, I will have to come back. And we will have to meet. And I really don't want that to happen, but I just wanted to clarify. And also, something about this request to assassinate your husband, <laughs> I mean, ex-husband, has been rattling my brain a bit. Well, the way the request was sent to me, and the way it was presented with the royal seal, I'm assuming it was probably one of your staff at first, you know, servants around the castle. But then, as I looked through it and read uh, the request, the handwriting was a little bit too elegant for any common servant. So, I think the other thing that may... <laughs> Oh, I'm not uh, assinuating anything, Your Majesty. All I'm saying is, the next time somebody wants to uh, hire an assassin, I should do a better job of covering their tracks. And also, the smell of perfume. I can recognize it. It's actually quite interesting to see what happens with a man after he pisses off his wife enough. <laughs> I'll bet you would do, Your Majesty. And don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Majesty. <laughs> now, now, relax. I'm not here to kill you. Actually, I'm here for one of your guests, but I wouldn't dare interrupt this amazing party that you're having. No, I will wait for later. Come to think of it, why aren't you there having a good time? Hmm. I see. You wanted to take a bit of a breather from the crowd. I can understand that. I mean, I've never had a party this big before. Or even a party at all. Hmm. That's a story for another time, Your Majesty. Anyway, how's it going being a single ruler to a massive kingdom. <laughs> of course it's going to get stressful. Everyone wants something and you will have to find ways to supply it. In dealing with politics and making sure there's enough resources can be complicated, I can imagine. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. My target isn't anyone too important. They're just somebody who's, well, annoyed the wrong person as such. And I made sure they paid me in advance before I did anything. So, after this party is over, I'll deal with them. Discreetly, of course. And remove the body for you as well, so you don't have to worry about having any of your staff discovering a dead body of all things. Hmm. Me being kind. I guess that's one way of describing me. Oh, I wanted to say as well, you do look very beautiful tonight. <laughs> I see. Well, I may add that 
you do look beautiful. But the dress, well, it's a bit, a bit much, your majesty, if you want my honest opinion. Do I have a particular group I work with? Hmm. What's this? You trying to learn more about me, your majesty? No, I do not mind. The answer to that question is no. I work for myself by myself. I've learned some things when I was younger, you know, how to defend myself. And of course, how to make people seem they died by accidents or suicide. Granted, I may add that I've never worked for a particular group, but I have always done jobs for companies, organizations, all sorts. It seems like everybody needed someone to die. Even when I was a younger man, I've always had a quite a keen ability to do those kind of things. Mm. Anyway, you don't want to hear that gory details. I mean, there was a time where... Hmm, never mind. Hmm? You want to hear more? I'm sure a lady like yourself wouldn't want to be hearing some gruesome details from an assassin now. Uh, very well. One of my favorite targets I've ever taken down was a very short, plump man. Extorting money from the... Well, his subjects as such. He had this terrible habit of saying that he had big hands. Drinking certain things would make you feel better from infections. And he had this really bizarre toupee. God, he had no I mean, having to listen to him blab along and on. How do I get so close to him? Well, the truth is, my lady, <laughs> I just disguised as one of his bodyguards. And having to listen to him about naval and lands and all that malak was just getting on my nerves. But, how did I kill him? Oh, that's the funny thing, Your Majesty. I poisoned him. There's some interesting little herb I found a while back. It looks like somebody just going to sleep and next minute, poof, dead. And no trace at all. Weirdly enough, you can find them in uh, a very common fruit. Tomatoes, to be specific. <laughs> Do you want me to teach you how to make one of those? Why? I thought hiring me to kill your husband. <laughs> Nothing I could prove, of course. But you get my meaning, of course, my lady. Point being is, why would you want to know? Oh, you're just curious. Hmm. Maybe another time. But for now... May I have this dance, my lady? <laughs> Am I serious? Quite serious, my lady. I wouldn't think of anyone else better to dance with. <laughs> I might be an assassin, but I do know how to dance. No, come on. What harm would it really do? <laughs> well, thank you. Put your hand on my shoulder, and I'll put my hand, <laughs> of course, above the waist. I wouldn't dare. Hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> my apologies. I just had to remind myself a little bit, that's all. <sighs> I have to say, Your Majesty, tonight is extremely beautiful but of course it is a shadow of comparison to you <laughs> am i flirting hmm. the question is my lady 
Is it working? <laughs> I know I'm a terrible, terrible man. But I couldn't help myself. Your beauty and your elegance is definitely something very appealing. I would say I would spend the night with you. <laughs> I know. How vulgar of me. But like I said, I would, but I do sadly have some bad news as well. It's because I'll be leaving the kingdom tomorrow morning. <laughs> I do apologize if you are disappointed. But it is because of work that I have to go. And I am not sure how long it's going to be. But that's why I want to spend every minute with you. If you do not mind, Mary. I do understand that you have to get back to your subjects, but just know. Spending these few minutes with you, I will always cherish more than any gold or any reward. Do I truly mean it? <laughs> I mean every word of it, my lady. I mean, your majesty. Oh, you don't mind me calling you that? Well, okay then, my lady. But it seems like I can hear people wondering where you are. <laughs> we assassins are great hearing. It's quite all right. You should go. <laughs> it's quite all right, seriously, go. Yes, I promise to return to you one day. Until then, my lady. Ah, I wouldn't drink that if I was you, your majesty. <laughs> My apologies. I didn't mean to startle you. <laughs> and why shouldn't you be drinking that? Well, it has come to my attention that that drink of yours is poisoned. Hmm, by who? Well, that's a very nice thing to say. I thought you'd be up in arms happy to see me. <laughs> Fine, I'll answer your question. I reckon, if I had to give a good guess, it's probably one of your ex-husband's supporters. Even though he wasn't very popular, I am sure they were quite satisfied of his assistance to certain degrees. Don't you worry. I'll find out, too. It won't be long. <laughs> Is it somebody in your court? Hmm. I'm not too sure yet, Your Majesty. But, in due time, they will reveal themselves one way or another. Relax. I'm here now. I'll protect you. <laughs> well, thank you for asking. My journey was a complete success. My target fell without anyone realizing why that happened. <laughs> well, thank you. It's very occasion an assassin gets a compliment from somebody so renowned as you, your majesty. Why am I talking so quietly? Well, it's because I don't want people to see me. An assassin does have a reputation of being more 
subtle thing out in the open. <laughs> I guess you do have a point there, your majesty. Dark green isn't very subtle. And it doesn't blend well with the castle. But for some reason, no one else has ever spotted me. <laughs> Besides yourself, but don't forget your majesty. I let you see me. <laughs> I guess in a way you could take that as flattery. Anyway, you should relax. Your people might start to get suspicious. Yes, you did drop the glass and shatter it all over the floor. Just tell them that you just had a shaky hand for a second, or it's just your nerves. No one would judge you for that. Just relax. I'm right here. <laughs> Have no fear. No one can see me. Just let one of your staff or servants, whatever you wish to call them, they clean up the mess. Just, mm -hmm, just nod at them. There you go. See? It's quite all right. Hmm. You still seem very twitchy, your majesty. My, I suggest something. It might help you relax. <laughs> well, it's very simple, your majesty. All you need to do is breathe. Yes, I'm quite serious. It helps a lot of people, actually. After an attempted assassination of your life, I can understand you're a little nervous, unsure who to trust. I can understand that completely, but you need to listen and follow my instructions. Can you do that, your majesty? Good. Ah. <sighs> Just follow me in breathing, okay? Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out. And again, breathe in through your nose. And let out. One more time. Breathe in through your nose and release all the tension, all your worries. You are safe. Your assassin is with you. Always. <laughs> yes, I said, your assassin. The only reason I said that is because I have been thinking it wouldn't hurt to have a recurring employer. And I have missed you quite a bit, your majesty. Mm. <laughs> my apologies. I mean, my lady. Uh, forgive me, your majesty, I don't know if that sounds right coming from me. <sighs> yes, moving on to what I said before. Would you have me as a full-time assassin? I just want to be closer to you and keep you safe from all your enemies. If you just have me. <laughs> Are you worried that if I start working for you full time, that we won't have any time for our uh, fun? Hmm. That is up to you, my majesty. It's all up to you. But for now, 
I shall leave your side for just a moment. I must check the area to make sure there is no one else planning any troublesome acts against your honor or your life. <laughs> yes, I will stay a little longer. I will always keep you safe, no matter what. Hmm. It seems people still talk so much in doing nothing about it. <laughs> I guess you do have a point. An assassin doesn't understand politics, but I understand this much. There's a lot of talking, and more people are going to suffer from just talking. I believe in people's actions, not their words. They can sing a beautiful song about equality and peace upon lands, but it's only when people are willing to actually put it down on parchment and really get down helping the local people and connecting all of us. <laughs> Even if that is a big dream. What is it? You think you can do it, Your Majesty? <laughs> I actually believe you might be able to. And that's why I fear that you have become a target for these lords who want nothing but to take and take and never give back. Such cruelty should always be faced with punishment for their greed. But you are right. An assassin like myself has the unfortunate seed of working for such creatures like that. I only say creatures because they are not men. Men who do nothing but hurt the people. <laughs> yes, I have heard the stories of a Robin Hood, but I am not a good man either. I could not help the people as much as I wish I could. All I can do is delay the inevitable situations in protecting children from men's cruelty. Well, I say men, but mostly the kind of lords who sit around bickering and moaning about who has more money and who has more lands and trade routes. Such nonsense. All that should matter it's finding some common ground and working to make the world a better place. But they will never care about that kind of thing, will they? <laughs> Forgive me. I should not ramble so much. It is not my place as your assassin to have that kind of opinion. You don't mind that. You would like me to say even more. <sighs> All I want to say, Your Majesty, is simply, I do not see the reasons for grown men to bicker as much as they do. It's like watching children argue who's got the best toys or who's got more food on their plate. It just seems so childish, that's all, Your Majesty. Hmm. I won't lie, men with big fat bellies should always have enough money to help their people instead of filling their guts up with wine and food. Hmm. <laughs> Forgive me. I do not mean to sound so sharp. I have got nothing against royalty and nobles, really. I have met many who actually share your views, Your Majesty, who want to make the world a better place. If 
But sadly, their voices get shut off very quickly by those who have bigger houses and interrogated and threatened by those who have far, far too much money to do with. <laughs> it would be a great pleasure to take some of that. Yes, I guess, give it to the poor and like you are doing, your majesty. But also, we must be wise in making sure we don't end up broke either. It's a difficult 50-50 problem. Have enough money for the kingdom and never enough for ourselves. It's a difficult game. But all I can say is, this game might be dangerous, life-threatening, and even just too evil for a beautiful woman like you to handle with. But just know, I will always be there to keep you safe, no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. You will know my name. That is for tonight, my lady. Just relax and give all those normals a bow, and I will see you tonight. <sighs> Where the hell is she? Uh, I know her meeting is really important, but... Uh, I'm bored. Hmm. What is this anyway? Hmm. Forbidden love, huh? Hmm. There's a call. The princess and the stable boy. Hmm. What is my majesty reading, huh? Let's see. Uh, lovey dovey, lovey dovey. Ah, here we go. As I look deep into his dark eyes and dark skin, wrapping himself around. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe put this down. Oh shit. Ah, Your Majesty. <laughs> so, um. How was your meeting? Good, good. Me? Me? I, I'm fine. Um, I didn't mind waiting for you. Not at all. <laughs> was I bored waiting for you? No, 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 no. Like I said, it's all good. I understand that a busy lady like yourself needs, you know. <laughs> Play it cool. Play it cool. <clears throat> anyway, I was, uh... <laughs> what, you're still surprised that I showed up tonight? Well, after your recent assassination attempt on your life, I thought it probably was proper of me to keep you safe at night. And I did say that I would finally tell you my name. Hmm. I see. So you want to guess uh, my name then? Very well. If you wish, my lady. <laughs> I know, I need to decide which one I want to call you. Your Majesty. My lady. Ugh. Hmm? No, my name's not Cardlin. Darian? No, it isn't. James? Mm, no. I'll give you one more guess, my lady. <laughs> no, not that one either. But I do have one name for you. If you don't mind, of course. <laughs> I know. And I haven't done any courting yet, have I? 
I'm so right into getting what I want, my lady. <laughs> I guess I should tell you, shouldn't I? I've been hiding you for so long. It's Jonathan. My name is Jonathan. No, I have no last name. But does that matter? <laughs> Good. I'm glad to see that you see things the way I do. Mm. Anyway, I do have an update on the person who tried to assassinate you. Well, more like organize it at least, and failed miserably. I have managed to find out it was somebody who supported your ex-husband. Unfortunately, I haven't discovered the identity of them yet, but it will not take me too long to eliminate them. Just give me the word. Let me loose upon them. When I find out, of course. The only reason I say it's up to you is because we both need to take our time with this. This game is very dangerous. One false move and things could fall apart very quickly. And I refuse to have anything happen to you. Not now. Or ever. Hmm. No. I don't have any plans tonight. And to be honest, my lady, all I want is you. But I will not rush you into anything you are not comfortable with. I am not a brute. Hmm? I'm right. About what, my lady? That I am not a brute. I am. Your assassin. Your assassin lover. Hmm. I do like that. It does have a nice ring to it. <sighs> Are you sure you want this? I have to ask because Things are going to get very complicated very fast if we're not careful. You're sure? <laughs> well then, I guess if you're sure, let me help you out of that dress of yours. It's a bit of a nightmare with this corset, though. Hmm. There you go. Nice and loose. And... <laughs> Just lay on the bed. Oh, I'll join you in a second. I'm just... We're very fortunate that it's raining tonight. Less likely for anyone to hear us, don't you think? <laughs> Very well, my lady. I'll join you. Hmm. This bed is very comfortable. I mean, I haven't been in a bed like this before. No, I haven't. And now I see you. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed, my lady. You are very beautiful. You've got nothing to be embarrassed about. I can imagine it has been a long time since you have been naked around another man. So... <sighs> oh yes, I have been wanting this for a very long 
time. But... <sighs> I... I have been careful with my words. I wanted to woo you before anything else would happen. <laughs> I guess that's one way about it, eh? Me being a gentleman. But now, let's get to the part where I'm the least gentleman-like. <sighs> What's the matter? You're scared. Hmm. Would you feel better if I go slow with you? Hmm. I can understand that. And yes, I don't mind going slow with you at first, my lady. I mean, I have decided nothing else but to run my hands all over your beautiful body. To touch your face. Running my hands down your neck. To your shoulders. Down to your chest. All the way down to your beautiful hips. Kissing your beautiful legs. Mm. Maybe come back up to kiss your neck. <sighs> oh. Oh. That was. <sighs> Okay, my lady. <laughs> I could tell by that grin that you enjoyed yourself. Mm -hmm. What is it? Can I stay here tonight? Mm -hmm. Until morning. <sighs> yeah. Of course. My lady, I can stay here as long as you want. <sighs> yes, of course, you can sleep in my arms. Good night, my lady. I fell asleep so easily last night. This bed is truly the comfiest in the kingdom. Oh, 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 my, oh, my. Oh, wow. Good morning, my lady. Did you sleep okay? Mm hmm? Mama, I still here. Did you really think I would leave your side first thing, my lady? <laughs> I have to say, you were very bored last night. <laughs> hmm. Isn't it beautiful outside? The weather is just perfect. Blue skies, the sun's out, and it seems like the whole world is just moving on. Shops are opening. Ships are coming into the harbor. If you can try hard enough, you can almost smell the bakery. Baking some new goods. Uh, 
You truly do have a beautiful kingdom, my lady. <laughs> I'm glad to say I can call this home. And I reckon if we keep working as hard as we are, well, all I'm doing is protecting you. You're doing the real work. I mean, with all these meetings you're doing and these, you know, talks of peace and trade lines and so many more things I couldn't even dream to understand. But all I know is this. Our world is changing every day. And every day you will sit on the throne. <laughs> I can see this little kingdom becoming more than just a kingdom. I can see this being a beacon of opportunity in a world that people can actually look up to. And I truly mean that. Actually, I think one of the things I was reading up recently was people considering the future in a sense of no longer using horsepower and using steam, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Sounds mad, doesn't it? But the truth is, anything's possible. And of course, we use magic sometimes, but who knows how long that will last. I mean, I think we need it. And the investment of medicine as well could really do a good thing. You know what I'm trying to say, my lady? <laughs> my apologies. I bet you really don't want to hear me rambling on about silly dreams of just a different world. A world where everybody has an opportunity in this world, equal in every sense of the word. Hmm. I guess I'm not just a simple assassin, huh? Hmm. What can I say? I'm full of surprises. see that you actually care what I got to say, my lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, there has been something that has been plaguing my mind, really. It's just, as much as I deeply care about you, I know for the fact, if we're not careful, our enemies will try and use this against us. So we have to be careful extremely careful and the last thing I want to hear is you getting hurt because of me mm. but <laughs> oh you're worried they're gonna hurt me now now my lady you have nothing to worry about when it comes to that <laughs> I'm the most impossible assassin to capture not even in my infancy that anyone could keep me around long enough. Or, well, I mean, capture at least anyway. I'm a little bit more craftier than that. I never make a mistake. Not even once, my lady. <laughs> well, I guess I'd be lying if I said something of me wasn't captured. say it captures my heart my lady for your beauty your elegance <laughs> your grace your wisdom and your care for people your people your leadership has me something. Go right ahead. Do I ever dream of being king? No. I'm a free man. 
being a king would not help the people. I mean, you're doing your part, and it means so much. Truly, it does. And for me, being an assassin, being one with the crowd, and being around the people, I think, if I had to be truthful, that it's a lot more helpful than both of us being restricted by what we can do and what people we can help. And I think I still got one last job to do before anything like that would ever happen. I mean, I am speaking about your ex-husband's supporters, and I have been thinking of ways how to eliminate them all at one go. Yes, I have done some head counting, and it seems that your ex-husband's supporters are quite a big, hefty number. But have no fear, my lady. I think I've got a little plan to drive them all into one spot. It shouldn't be too difficult, at least anyway. All I have to do is find the right opportune moment, drive them into a meeting of some kind, and the rest, well, you shouldn't worry about that. Let me worry about it. And when it's done, you can do nearly anything and everything that is possible and whatever your heart desires as well. In good reason, of course. <laughs> yes, I promise. I will be careful. You have my word. Anyway, let's get back to what's actually really important right now. Just you, me, and I'm sure we have a few. Ah, I guess not. You gotta be quiet. Like I said, we can't be having people knowing about this, all right? Oh, don't worry. I'm just gonna jump out the window. It's, no, I'm not insane. Shush. I'm sorry, my lady. I don't mean to be rude, but I got to go. But remember, my heart belongs to you, no matter what. Don't mind me, my lady. I'm just, uh, finishing something. That's right. I'm writing a letter. To who? Well, I have good news. I have discovered every single identity of your ex-husband's supporters. And at the moment, I am writing to them, all of them, to be more specific, to have a meeting of some sorts. Now, now, don't worry. I do have a plan. I ended up figuring out one of the identities and copied their handwriting. In other words, one of the head supporters. It wasn't too difficult. I mean, I had to do a lot of sneaking around, and this particular individual made it a very difficult job of following them for a while, but when I found a very perfect hiding spot to listen to them, and get a nice eagle's view of what they were writing and their style of writing. Well, as you could imagine, it wasn't too long until I kind of got it down to a T at least anyway. Hmm. You want me to read you the letter? Hmm. Sure, I can do that. <coughs> Gentlemen. 
I write this letter to inform you all my mission to eliminate the Queen has been an absolute failure. The reason for this is because of that troublesome assassin. I fear as long as that assassin is by her side, we will never, ever be able to move forward with our plans. That is why I beg you all to agree to a meeting tomorrow at midnight at the West Wing Tower. I hope this letter reaches to you all in good faith. Let the Father of Understanding guide us. So, what do you think, my lady? Pretty good, huh? <laughs> good, good. Nothing makes me more happier than seeing that smile on your face. It truly does. Mm hmm? What does it mean? Oh, let the Father of Understanding guide us. Is that it? Hmm. Well, it's a saying mostly said by those who are part of a group, my lady. A troublesome group that does, well, unspeakable things to gain power and control in dominating other kingdoms. I have never thought I would run into them myself, but... Oh, don't worry. They will die. One way or another. That, I swear it. Well, one of the core conspirators was actually the Lord who was in charge of your treasury, my lady. The one that was meant to make sure the gold goes all over the kingdom, making sure everyone gets a fair shake. Unfortunately, that was never the case. Slimy bastard. Oh, well. <clears throat> never mind that. Anyway. Oh. oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Hmm? Have I been at this all night? No, no, I've been doing other things as well. Like what? Well, some extra little bits and pieces for the plan to eliminate your targets. That's all. Well, yes, you're right. They're my targets, but you're the one who assigned them to me. You know, find the people who are trying to kill you kind of thing. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, no, 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 no. I won't spoil the surprise, my lady. I want this to be my gift to you for your birthday. The perfect gift. Freedom from all those who want to seek harm to you. <laughs> yes, I promise. This will be done one way or another. Oh, oh the Lord Almighty above I am really tired. Ugh, I really gotta make a move as well, my lady. I gotta deliver this letter. I'm gonna make sure everything's set and ready to go. And yes, I do realize it's raining, my lady, but I got to go and do this. I mean, I, you want me to stay the night? Again? My lady, as much as I appreciate the offer, this job has got to be done. I can't just wait until more. What the hell? Don't give me those eyes, my lady. You're too freaking adorable. You want me to. What? Spoon you tonight? Spoon? What do you mean by spoon? Hmm. Never heard that phrase before. Hmm. Wait. So you don't want to do the other thing but hold you close tonight? Just to listen to the rain and feel the warmth of the fire. Hmm. I... Hmm. Very well. If that is what my lady wishes, I shall grant it. <sighs> but I'm definitely getting up early in the morning for this. Those men will die. Hmm. Very well. <sighs> Let me just... Oh, my lady, what are you, you're rubbing my back, huh? Oh, the 
does feel really nice. <laughs> oh. This is for all my hard work, is it? So, how do you do this spooning thing, anyway? Mm-hmm. You would be yourself right up next to me. Okay. <laughs> Rub my arms around you. This is what other people call spooning. But, oh, it's a peculiar name. <laughs> I would just call this embracing each other. Very well. Oh. Forgive me, my lady, but you smell so good. I could almost. Do I ever want to join the Brotherhood? No. Never. I'm quite happy the way I am. I mean, I'm happier being a free agent instead of owing myself to a bunch of lunatics with a death wish. No. Here in this bed with you is all I ever need. <laughs> yeah, the rain is coming down quite heavy, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed, it was definitely a good idea for me to stay here. Definitely better than getting really cold. In white. <laughs> Are you sure you're not in the mood for any fun tonight? Hmm. Well then, I can understand that. You have been feeling a bit under the weather lately, haven't you, my lady? <laughs> okay. How's it feel to have me close like this then, my lady? Me being so close to your ear. Mm. <laughs> it feels good, does it? <sighs> Feeling the heat of my breath on your neck. You keep bringing that up. Me being king. My lady, if I have to be a king of anything, maybe one day it would be interesting to be called the king of the assassins. But I have to do something quite immaculate to do that. Something unexpected. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, killing these high-ranking targets might just do that. Hmm, who knows? I'll just have to find out, won't I? And if I do somehow become a king of assassins. Hmm. 
maybe we could finally come out and say it in front of everyone that I am with you. But until then, I'll have me be your secret lover for a while longer. Hmm. Uh. is melting to you. In a good way, though, of course. Don't worry. <laughs> You're not sweaty or something, no. You're just perfect. Absolutely perfect. In every sense of the word, my lady. And I mean it. Every word of it. <sighs> say this blanket is really soft. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm a big sucker for the things so soft and delicate. Oh, I, I have no doubt that you have some thorns, my lady. But that's why I find you so intriguing. Hmm. Interesting. And very, very smart. <laughs> hmm. uh, get some sleep, my lady. And I'm sorry by morning I'll be gone. But just know this. When you awake, you'll have the knowledge knowing that your assassin will always be by your side. Forever and always yours. Mm. Good night, my love, my queen, my everything. Ah, your majesty, it is very good to finally meet you. Oh, are you really enjoying yourself? I hope me and my compatriots are doing a really good job with your party of all things. <laughs> good, good. Nothing brings more joy to my heart as knowing that our work is appreciated, Your Majesty. No, no, I am not offended. I understand that you need your guards around you as much as possible. I have heard rumors of your exploits and the people who are trying to take your life. It is good to see that a very handsome assassin has gone out of his way to protect you, your majesty. Hmm. Indeed. Also, to change the subject as such, I heard by the royal court the royal cook is baking a magnificent cake in your honor. <laughs> I was wondering, Your Majesty, if it was possible me and my compatriots might be able to have a little sneaky slice at some point. Ah, thank you very much, Your Majesty. Me and my compatriots are indebted to you for this. But of course, I must ask, do you have a request? Any music in particular you are interested in? Hmm, I see. You're quite happy with what we are playing right now. Well, very well. Tell me, is it possible I can speak to you, Your Majesty, without your looming guards? Ah, no, ah, no. I understand that your safety is very important. But I thought, you know, a walk around the court wouldn't be such a trouble, no? We are in the eyes of everyone. I do not desire to be taking anyone's life tonight, anyway. <laughs> oh, you find me charming. Careful, you might make an assassin dirty jealous. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, your majesty. I must say, you do have a beautiful kingdom. And a beautiful castle, too. It seems like the people really love you. That is why I am still shocked that uh, people be wanting to take your life of all things. Hmm? Stop the act. <laughs> 
Your Majesty, I'm hurt. You really think this is an act? All I am is a humble bard, with my compatriots here doing nothing but trying to make this night magnificent for you. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, fine, fine. I, I, I have noticed we're out of earshot. <sighs> Frank the Maker, I was getting sick of that accent anyway. It's almost exhausting. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday, my lady. I know, I know. We're just talking like normal people at the moment. People are not expecting anything right now. I'm like mad. No, no, not mad at all. <clears throat> Let me finish. Yes, the plan is set. How did I set up with the music? Well, the... Well, hmm. The students of the College of Music owed me a favor, so... Let's just say all I had to tell them was do this for me and I'll pay them later. And don't worry, the students would be happy enough to have a bag of gold in their pocket one way or another. Oh, how will I afford to pay them? Well, let's just say I got something on them, so they'd be happy with anything at this point. <laughs> hmm, what's the matter? What am I wearing? What is it? Don't you like it? I think I look very magnificent in it. It's a very rare occasion I get to dress up for a party like this. The little crown is a bit much. Oh, come on, my lady. It's not that bad, is it? Hmm? And you could see the dagger. Oh, unfortunately, my lady, it is actually a decoration. Trust me, I was searched earlier. Your guards were very thorough, I give them that. <laughs> ah, but now I'm glad that you're safe. Nothing brings more happiness to my heart knowing that you are safe on your birthday of all things. Hmm? What is it? Where's my present? <laughs> later, later. Let's try and enjoy yourselves. I mean, it seems like everyone's having such a good time right now. Lords are getting fatter. Women are trying to get into their bed. Or into their pockets, more like. <laughs> Maybe they have the right idea. Well, if lords are that fat from all the money they make, maybe I should do the same. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> joking, joking. Dear me, even in parties you're a little bit violent, my lady. But have no fear, you're the only one I want. And I don't even want your money. Anyway, besides that, I'm actually really impressed with the students of music here. They're really good. For a bunch of students, of course. <laughs> oh, yes, the guitar on my back. It's just for decoration for now. I do intend to practice with it at some point. <laughs> well, excuse me, it's not that funny, my lady. An assassin can have a hobby, after all. Unless my lady is expecting me to start assassinating my targets with this guitar. <laughs> very silly and very unprofessional of me. Hmm. Actually, now that I come to think of it, maybe putting a crossbar together with this guitar, maybe? Hmm. That's given me a lot to think about. Hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, my lady. I'll try not to go overboard with my ideas. Anyway, I just wanted to say that you look magnificent tonight. And I truly mean that. You know where else it would be perfect? On the royal bedroom floor, my lady. <laughs> I know. Terrible assassin, but I can't help myself. Whoever fitted that dress for you has done a really good job of showing exactly what I like about you the most. And what is that? Hmm. The color of the dress really shows off your eyes. Or, unless do you want me to say something about your loving hips. 
and also... <laughs> All right, okay, okay. We'll leave that for later on when everyone is gone, my lady. Also, I have noticed that your skin is really glowing tonight. Had someone enjoyed the wine a little? No? Hmm, why not? I've heard the wine is fantastic. Traveled all the way from a distant land, filled with fields of grapes and berries. <laughs> also, I've heard it's so strong. If you try to drink a barrel of it, you would end up spinning for hours. Am I a fan of wine? Hmm. I am a little bit. I cannot argue. But then again, any drink after a hard days of killing people will do. From an ale, from whiskey, to even some stronger stuff that no one even talks about. <laughs> No, no, my lady, I am no drunk. I mean, what kind of assassin would I be if I was? I'm just an assassin who enjoys the fine things in life, and sometimes a little drink here and there wouldn't do any harm, really. <laughs> uh, anyway. Hey, you okay? My lady, you seem a little dizzy. Grab my arm, come on. <clears throat> Are you sure you haven't had any wine tonight? All right, all right. You don't have to squeeze my wrist like that, I believe you. But still, what's the matter? Jesus, you really are heating up a bit, aren't you? Unless you just... Okay, all right. Have you had any food yet? Drinking without food is not a good idea. Trust me, I learned that mistake a long ago. <laughs> okay, okay. Got the hint, got the hint. Come on then. Let's make a move outside. I'm sure everyone is too distracted to notice that you're gone. Come on. <sighs> actually, now that I come to think of it, this actually was a good idea. I didn't realize I was getting a little bit claustrophobic there. <laughs> Uh, are you feeling any better, my lady? Good, good. Tell me, is everything okay? As long as you're sure. I just would hate to find out that you're unwell. Or pushing yourself too hard. You're allowed a little break sometimes, my lady. I thought this party was... You know, helping you relax a little bit and enjoy your time, but I guess, <sighs> well, I'm glad to see that you did enjoy the party, but promise me something, my lady, will you go and see a doctor? I would hate to find out if, okay, all right, I believe you. Uh, anyway, I wanted to take you out here at some point anyway. Why? Well, hmm, how do I put this? You have noticed our targets are definitely not in the party, right? Well, the reason for that is, my lady, is they are there. Look, at the West Wing Tower. Now, if you just keep looking at it. No, no, trust me. You're gonna like this. One, two, hold my hand, my lady. Free! <laughs> Man, bloody tastic. <laughs> Stupid old fools, they couldn't help themselves. What have I done? Well, eliminated several targets in one foul swoop. All it takes is a dummy to, you know, lure them into a doorway, they open the door, Pull a string, light a match, and, well, fireworks. Happy birthday, my love. My lady. Mm -hmm. Now you are free to do this right for this kingdom without old men like them trying to pull the strings and force you into things you don't want to do. I have set you free. <laughs> uh, oh, 
You're wondering where I got the fireworks from. Hmm. That is for me to know and you to figure out one day. <laughs> what? An assassin has to have his secrets sometimes. Even from the people he loves. Ugh. I definitely gotta hear back from the assassins for this one, that's for certain. <laughs> ah, nothing brings more joy than seeing my targets being destroyed. And the best part is, no one's gonna question it. No, seriously, they won't. At this moment in time, certain people will be getting letters from them. <laughs> Basically saying they are deciding to go unemployed and travel for a while. And they won't know when they'll come back. No, seriously. And I've had people come over and collect their stuff and move it in the most discreet area possible. Where? Mm, I'm sure the common people would appreciate some new things as such. Especially money, gold, clothing, food, that kind of thing. And don't worry. I have a list right in my pocket for people to replace them. People I can tell you, you can trust. That, I swear it. Oh. My, my, what a lot of weight off my chest. I mean, I wasn't too sure if this was actually going to work. But my little birds had told me that all of them went in, so we won't be hearing any survivors anytime soon. <laughs> Ah, oh, my oh my. This is probably the biggest assassination I have ever done. One to one kills are one thing, but killing a massive group of them at once. Ah, oh, I have to say, that's definitely going down in the history books one way or another. Hmm? You're worried people might recover their bodies. That is true, my lady, you do have a point, but I always have a plan for everything. So don't worry. If there's any bodies to be recovered, it will be removed before any particular people find them. So have no worries. All I can say is now, I love you. And there's nothing I won't do for you. Now, I think we should return to the party, don't you think? <laughs> Uh, 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 by the gods <laughs> if I had to climb up this window one more time my lady I swear oh oh bugger uh, uh. <sighs> don't make fun of me obviously I could have sneaked around the castle a lot easier if there weren't so many oxy gods. Ugh. But oh well. I know they're there to protect you, so I guess I should have them for thanks. Ugh. I mean, even if the threat has been neutralized, you just don't know these days. One threat gets removed, another one comes and takes its place. You just don't know these days, do you? <laughs> As much as I groan and moan about climbing out that window of yours, it's still quite invigorating all the same, just to see you there waiting for me. Actually, I wanted to ask, how goes the new people working for you? <laughs> I mean, nothing beats having a new treasurer, captain of the guard, and many other things, of course. Good, good. They swore their loyalty to you. And to me. <laughs> they don't need to do that. All I did was give them new work. A place where they can actually really shine. You know, show their true talents. Oh yes, of course. I have noticed the kingdom has really been prospering ever since they have been taken off us. And it's really good to see that. And I've noticed that people haven't even missed the old lords. <laughs> oh, 
if they do a really good job, you give them the title of lords. Hmm. Do I disapprove? No, no. I would say give them a year. Maybe two, just to be sure, my lady. That's all. Hmm. <laughs> but no. I have never seen the people so happy before until now. Our little plan definitely worked. Uh, anyway, I needed to ask. Did you finally go and see that doctor? About your little illness. This cold you've been having for a while. Ah, good. Glad to hear it. So what did they have to say about it? Mm -hmm. You want me to sit down for this? Okay. Sure. So what did the doctor say? Is something wrong with you? Please, you can tell me. My lady, why are you crying? Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. Whatever it is, we work through it together. Are you, are you really that sick? <sighs> okay, that's good. For a minute there, I was really worried. Uh, so what is wrong with you then? I'm sorry, my lady, but what are you trying to say? Uh, yes, I remember that night. Mm -hmm. The night I spent the first night with you. <laughs> How could I forget? It was a very, very enjoyable experience. <laughs> oh. What about the month? Oh, oh, wait. Are you... Are you sure? You missed a cycle. I don't quite understand what you mean by cycle, but... Uh, you... Hey, 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 hey. Shh. Shh. It's okay. Just tell me. You, you're pregnant. Oh. The doctor... Uh, oh. I see. <laughs> no, 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 my lady. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just... <laughs> never thought it would ever happen. I mean... Of course I've been thinking about it, but... <sighs> I... Don't know what to say, besides... Well... Here we are. There's not much we can really do, really. Besides... protect our child. I guess the only option we do have is hide the child from the people for a while, if possible. How? Well, I do have a few ideas. Because at this moment in time, it's still not safe to have a baby, but that's definitely not up to us anymore. This is all nature's job now. And the only option we do have is... Oh, don't worry, my lady. I'm just thinking of a way to do this. It's... No. <laughs> Sorry, my lady, but that's not an option either. Having an abortion is definitely not the answer to this. Yes, I said it's dangerous to have a baby right now, but it doesn't mean we... <sighs> Listen, I know a doctor that can help us. All we have to do is go to a secret location to give birth to the baby. Also, for the next God knows how long until this baby arrives, you'll be hiring somebody else to do all the royalty duties for a while. You need all the rest as possible, my lady. Hmm. I think I know the, just the right person to do the job. Hmm. Maybe our recent new treasurer might be able to do the job. 
you know, somebody who could speak for the queen until she is recovered from her illness. As long as they understand the very few maids and a few servants are allowed to come into your quarters. Supervised by me as well, of course. <laughs> Still doesn't answer the question where to have the baby. Hmm. I definitely do not want the baby to be born in some barn. Or in a tavern, for goodness sake. No, no, a castle will be fine. My doctor friend might be able to make the journey here. <laughs> what is it? You want to ask me something? Of course, ask away. Do I regret that night? Not at all. <laughs> my lady, no, my love. There is no point worrying about those kind of things right now. All that matters is having a healthy delivery of our baby. And I don't regret a thing. None of it. I don't regret the day I met you. I don't regret the day that you told me about this. Every day with you has been nothing but the greatest prize I have ever won in my life. <laughs> This baby is going to be my greatest reward ever, and I truly mean that. Shh, shh, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. That I promise you. Hmm. Yes, I will spend tonight with you. <laughs> and we can do that spooning thing you like so much. Yes, I getting used to that word. I would rather embracing you than just spooning, but whatever my lady requests, I shall provide. <laughs> also, having a child of my own doesn't sound like a terrible idea, really. I mean, it would be really, really good to teach them all what I know. To being a good assassin. And it would be nice to have a prodigy. <laughs> oh, what do we tell the people when the child is born? Hmm. I got it. We'll just say the baby was found by the castle doors. An orphan, maybe. One of the gods finds it, brings it to you, and as you are the just queen, you take the baby on as your own child. Raise it to be the future ruler of this kingdom. And hopefully that might work. I cannot see no harm in it. But what happens if they start putting things together, like facial features and behaviors? Hmm. Whatever happens, I'm sure that people will understand. But if we do have people asking questions, we will just turn around and say, it's a bit of a coincidence, really. <laughs> I have faith that the people will understand if they do figure it out one day. But for now, let's not worry about that. All we should think about is having a healthy baby. And how we're going to bring in Razor. I mean, it might be as wild as me. Or as delicate and graceful as you. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. You hate it when I say that. I know, I know. You are a rose with thorns, my love. But you're still beautiful to me no matter what. And I truly mean it. <laughs> even if you start having a bit of a belly. And even if you get extremely moody with me. <laughs> or try to kill me. All I can say is, you could try. Hi. <laughs> I love you. I have been thinking, though. I wonder what I could teach the baby. Maybe teach it how to climb up and down the castle safely. Or maybe I should give them my knives. <laughs> Start training them early, I always say. All right, okay, point taken, point taken. Maybe that's a little bit too early for them. Hmm. 
You're thinking rocking horses and teddy bears. Hmm. All right. Just don't go overboard. We don't want this baby growing up to be selfish or anything. <laughs> uh, also, we need to find a nice place in the castle for her to sleep. Oh, yes. We definitely have to get a crib as well. I was thinking of painting the baby's room. Hmm. Maybe green. Why green? Well, I find green is more like a genderless color. Because if we make any assumptions now, or next minute, the baby is one or the other, it's going to make things a little awkward and more work than we need it to be. <laughs> uh, who knows? Point being is, you're going to be a magnificent mother. That I'm sure of. <laughs> Thank you. That means a lot to me. I don't know if I'd be that good of a father, but I'll try my best to raise it right. That, I swear, my family is my life now. <laughs> and I swear to protect you both with my life. Even if it kills me, of course. <laughs> I know, I know. I won't jinx anything. All that matters now is spending the rest of my life with you. <sighs> anyway, we should get to bed. We got a lot to plan tomorrow. Forgive me, my lady. <laughs> I didn't sleep very well last night. Well, it was the first night I didn't get to spend uh, the night with you, of course. Uh, it's been many nights since your birthday. And I've been so busy lately. I mean, my life is evolved around you, of course, but work is work, so of course... <sighs> yes, I am employed to you, but I thought of a change of pace recently by doing a little job here and there. Yes, assassinating individuals. And I have had word from the assassins. Well, what they said was... <laughs> they were very impressed with my work. But also, hmm, they weren't exactly majorly impressed. I should have been killed in a more, less theatrical. But I couldn't help myself, you know me. <laughs> if I see an opportunity, I'm going to take it. Even if it is a little more flashier than usual. Hmm. Yes, I once said I'm more on the sneaky side of things, but I like to change things up at Bass Hall. Don't get me wrong, my lady. I'm still not the guy who goes out cutting and slashing people with my sword, yet I'm more still comfortable with my dagger. <laughs> oh, you terrible, terrible woman. Talking about my other sword now, aren't we? <laughs> uh, so, what troubles my lady anyway? <laughs> yes, besides the little bump. Hmm. You're still not sure if you did the right thing. Hmm. Look of all the good you have done, my lady. I mean, everything has come into fruition. With everything we've planted in our mission to make this world a better place. Well, I say world, but it's always good to start with the kingdom first before we even consider the world. <laughs> my point being is... 
Now you have people in your castle that you can trust. People who are willing to support you no matter the cost. From the new treasury, captain of the guard, and so on. These individuals, like you said, swore to do whatever is necessary. Mm. Well, let me put your mind at ease, my lady. What we have done has been necessary evil. The people here will thank us for it, even if they don't know the reason how it happened. But they will thank us one day. Too many people in this kingdom are suffering under the tyranny of those nobles. And now, those nobles have now been removed. The people can finally breathe easier. They were happy, but this... This particular action we have taken has now made the people breathe easier. And I can honestly say, because of our actions, this kingdom can truly flourish. Hmm. Take the baker. He has struggled for many years to pay off taxes that he owed your treasury. It might have escaped your knowledge, but your ex-treasurer was trying to bankrupt the baker. And because now all of our actions are replacing that corrupt bastard, the baker can finally bake fantastic goods without any fear of rushing his goods to make ends meet. Now can truly enjoy his talents in his culinary arts of food. <laughs> As one who enjoys his baked goods, it is nice to see him smile more instead of those tired eyes that many people in this kingdom were sharing. Tired, exhausted. Hmm. I understand that you never knew and it's a easy thing to miss. But this is why you're here, walking with me. So now you get to see what I see through the people. Hmm. Tell me, my lady, have you not noticed the massive significance that has happened to your kingdom? <laughs> well, have a look around. Look at the streets. Look at the people's faces. <sighs> That's right. No beggars. None to be seen. Where have they gone? Well, they haven't left the kingdom, if that's what you're thinking, my lady. No. They are working. Because the new balance of power and money coming in and out of this kingdom people can finally afford to pay others to do work, to being farmers, apprentices to blacksmiths, helping the baker. <laughs> I've even seen little orphan boys and girls running around doing deliveries, letters, parcels, but it seems the people have finally, well, Shine is probably the word I want to use for this situation. And all because of what we have done. And I am sure, with time, I can see more kingdoms turning out like this. Maybe one day. But for now, let's just enjoy the peace. There is no fret. There is no war. There's nothing but me, you, and our kingdom. Hmm. Yes, your kingdom. Forgive me, I'm... <laughs> the thoughts of being king are crossing my mind a little. Damn you. <laughs> yes, 
I'm blaming you. You give me dreams of grandeur. I, I am not, all I want to say is that I love this kingdom far too much to let it, let anything happen to it. Even if the people don't know I even exist. No. It is better for me to be an assassin. Even if I wish to do more. But being who I am makes me free. Yes, I understand I have a new responsibility in this world. More than just protecting you. We're having a little one together. And I won't lie to you, my lady, I am afraid what might happen, but... Hmm. It, are you out of your mind? Somebody could have seen us. I know. It's a bit odd coming from me, but... I never kissed you this much in public. It's always been in your... in your bedroom, my lady. I'm still not completely sure how the people will react. Mm. <sighs> but thank you. I needed that anyway. I was starting to think some silly things then. <laughs> your hand. Are you sure about that? Mm, very well. Yeah. Mm. Just stay close, okay? <laughs> I, I have to say, though, that dress really works for what we're trying to do. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that dress makes you fat. I would say that dress is doing a good job of hiding your bump. <laughs> Our bump. What a peculiar way of saying things. We still have a plan. Hmm. Are you sure you want me to remind you of the plan? It's very simple and straightforward. Hmm, all right. Simply the plan is, one of the guards is going to find the baby. You, being a justful ruler, will take the baby on as your own child. And from there onwards, if anyone has any questions about where the baby came from, we will just say it was a mystery. We will never figure it out. But it is a blessing all the same. <laughs> mm, yes, and even if the baby shares me or your features or complexions or, or any of that kind, we will just say it's a massive coincidence. It is safer for people to think that for a while until until things calm down a bit. Even if we are safe, I still have my concerns. <sighs> yes, you are right. We should be happy. Forgive me. I... Hey, are you all right, my lady? You seem a little... Uh, hey, 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 come on. Just lean on my shoulder. Put your arm around me. There you go. Just keep it right face for a second. Okay, no one saw. What's the matter? You're serious? Now? Okay. We're gonna try and get to the castle. 
very quietly. Yes, yes, I know. It hurts. I know. <laughs> Don't dig your nails into my shoulder. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, we're moving a little faster. Time to go. <laughs> Don't worry. The second we get you inside, I'll get in contact with my doctor friend. Come on. Give a push. Come on, you can do it. You're almost there. Just one more push, Your Majesty. Oh, there you are. Shh, shh. There, there. It's okay now, little one. You did great, Your Majesty. We have here is a healthy baby girl. Do you want to hold her? Well, okay, here you go. Now, Your Majesty, don't be shy to contact me at any time you have a question. Any question at all. So, how did it go? Is everything okay? How's the- Relax, Jonathan. The queen and the baby are just fine. It was a healthy delivery. <sighs> Thank the gods. I was so worried. Thank you, Fira. Oh, don't thank me yet. You'll be getting my bill soon, Jonathan. But I'm sure with your new sugar mama, that wouldn't be too much trouble for you. <laughs> oh, Fira, it's not like that, and you know it. Oh, I know, but it's just too easy to tease. But... No worry. You're very lucky, Jonathan. Just try not to screw this up, all right? Mm, right. Okay, thanks again, Fira. I mean, you're dead. Oh, that you are, Jonathan. I will hold you to that. Be standing here all day. Hello there, my lady. <laughs> so this is the little tyke that has been making all the noise. <laughs> May I hold them? Thank you. It's okay, I got you. Shh. Shh. <laughs> wow. They just fell asleep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and now for you, my lady. Magnificently. Mm. I truly mean that. Oh. I was so worried that something would have gone wrong or worse. I know it's really stupid, but. little life is made by us. <laughs> this tiny, tiny little soul with tiny hands. <laughs> they got your eyes, my lady. And mm. <laughs> even when they're sleeping, they've got a real strong grip of my pinky. <laughs> <laughs> My lady, I I am truly indebted to you. Well, why I say that is because you brought this beautiful, beautiful. 
beautiful soul to life. And all of my life, I have only taken life. And I just can't believe this. I, this almost feels like a dream, truly. <laughs> You've made me the most luckiest assassin in the world. Now, the luckiest man alive. And I am forever indebted to you for that. And I swear to protect you and and our child for the rest of my life. I I, I just don't know what to say. To be completely truthful, all I want is to be with you and our <laughs> my little girl. <laughs> Did you think of a name though? Ruby. I like it. <laughs> 